Hey guys and girls and welcome to the Plump Pot channel. So if you're new to this channel, we focus on making easy tutorials for new guys on PCB design, electronics and anything hobby based building as you can see in the workshop behind me, which is quite a mess. Um, so in this video, I'm going to focus on KeyCap version 6, um, speaking about the origin of your PCB. So the origin is, you know, the X and Y plane and how to control your center point of your 00, zero should I say. Uh, this is very cool. This is new compared to version 5. Version 5, when you made a component, 0, 0, it used to go to the top left somewhere. Um, now you can control it. And this is perfect for placing components perfectly on your board where you want it. I'll speak a bit about the pick and place zero point as well. So there's different origins that KiCad has and where to use it and how to use it. So this is, video is controlling that center point of your PCB and how to manipulate it so you can place components exactly where you want it so if i want component 10 millimeters by 20 millimeters somewhere on the board this video will show you exactly how to do it or i want different components um, five millimeters or 10 millimeters from each other how to control that so our keycad has made it very nice being able to set where your origin is and this is new in keycad version 6 so watch the video if you guys like it thumbs up subscribe and send me a message what you guys are busy with what type of projects you're doing uh, so enjoy the video. Uh, let me know if there's any questions on our Discord below. Okay, let's start. So now we have KiCad version 6 open. Uh, let's look at what I meant by the origin. So the origin is mostly for the PCB. Uh, the schematic also has coordinates, but you don't use it that much. So let's look at the origin. So let's just place a board outline. So we go edge cuts. Uh, just place a little board here. Alt 3, we get the 3D view, and now let's say example we get a component, uh, I always use the ESP32, don't know why, because I use it so many times, and now I've got this ESP32. So how can I place this, for example, somewhere specific on the board without looking at the bottom? So you'll see X153, 160, and if I move it, that changes, and when I double click on it, you can see at the bottom here, X is 148. But if I make this 0, 0, it'll pop up at the top left. And that is not useful for us. So what we want to do is change the origin. So to do that, we say place. And you can see we get grid origin and drill and place file origin. What You can use both actually. But what we want to use is the grid origin because the grid is the small dots you see here and where you place. And I personally always put it at the bottom left of your board. So now my zero point has changed. So if I go zero, zero, I don't think this is going to work and I'll show you guys why now. Okay. Oh, it did work. Uh, if this does not work for you, go to preferences and you'll see at the and you'll see at origins and axis, you can choose display origin. So if I use page origin and I say OK and I use 0, 0 now, it will go back to the left. So even if I placed my origin here, if I did not change that setting, it will not go to 0, 0. So preference, preference, <laughs> origin, axis, and I use grid origin. That's what I meant. You can use drill, place file origin as well. Um, but that's more for the pick and place, what I'll speak about later. And then you can see how you want to run your values. So I want to increase on the right on the X, and I like to increase my Y up, not down. So I'll change that there. Now, for example, if I make it 5.5, five, the center point will be 5 millimeters on top and 5 to the right. So there's the center of the board. So you're probably thinking, where can I actually use this and where can it be useful? Um, so I use a lot for, for example, holes. So if I place a hole, let's take this for example, it's normally called mounting holes. So let's just take a mounting hole for example. Now I want my holes to be five by five on each corner. So I don't want to go and draw it. So what you could do in version five is you could right click and say, uh, it's a different place now. Now it's under special tools and you say uh, Pushes in relative to and then you'll select your item For example there and I'll go 5 by 5 
so I chose the wrong thing but you guys get the idea so we'll go, let's see it was the top uh, so my X seems right my Y doesn't seem right uh, so it should probably be it took that point as five but you see I, not difficult it is but now it took that point as far uh, as a zero point so it made five by five so now for me to get it down here I need to subtract this length uh, which I don't even know because I just drew it randomly um, so it might be like minus 10 or something and you can see you can start moving it like that um, but that just takes so much time and effort to think so what you can do now is we just check that is it still at origin yes it is so now all I can do is double click on it and just put a file there and that's it so that hole now is five millimeters by five millimeters placed in the center so I can do the same for all corners now so I can either place it and I can now add the distance so I know my Y must be 5 so it will be in line with this one and then I can add the distance here or what I can do is I can just go place the grid origin so now I play with the grid origin wherever I want it so this is the trick to place components where you want specifically with reference so now it changed and now I want it minus 5 because I want it on the left hand side and there we go so I can do it the whole time I can actually just push S as you can see so I just push S and I place it there copy paste now it's going to be minus minus because it's the left and bottom the setting we made and there we go S again last one And there we go. So now what I normally do is actually lock these because they're holes. So I would lock them normally. So I can't accidentally move them. Uh, just something I do. Otherwise, if you if mounting holes are, need to be accurate and you accidentally move it a bit, sometimes you won't even notice and then things won't line up. So once you place it, lock them. You can also put your origins on parts or on footprints. For example, I want this capacitor to be 10 millimeters away from a hole. So what I can do is I just place my origin again put in the center here and then I can make this 10 uh, it doesn't even matter way too much so what I can do I can make this uh, 10 and make this 0 because my origin is there and there we go but just be careful so now it's 10 millimeters from the center point of your hole not to the edge so if you want the edge you need to add the radius of the hole to your calculations so this is 2.2 so if I make this now 11.1 uh, I think now it will be 10 millimeters from the edge and not the hole this is important when you work with high voltages and you need that distances from jumping and arcing then it's to the edge of the hole and not the center so keep that in mind when you're placing components from each other your keycap will always take the center point or, or take the point wherever you put the origin so if I put the origin here somewhere then that's my point of reference and this should be close to 10 now yeah, now I'm putting out 5, 7 as you can see it's not exactly on the edge so now that we spoke about the place origin uh, when you do a place you'll also see there is an origin for the draw and place file so this is different because this is the center point or the origin of your components when you when you generate a pick and place file so when I place a component push O again with the ESP32 then this coordinate here is important for the pick and place machine of a manufacturer like JLPCB or PCB way to know where to pick up or where to place my component it's also very important to note where the center point of the component is so if you create your component and you create a center point that's not the center point you're telling the machine where to pick up that component so if you make the center point a bit to the right the machine will actually pick up the component on that edge I'll make a new video for that explaining how the pick and place machine works with your pick and place file 
So this you have to place bottom left of your board to make sure that your pick and place file is always positive. That's just like I like to do. So when you go file, fabricate output and create a component placement position, it will create a CV file with the footprint. So let's see what happens. You will see in your project folder that they created two pass files. So the top and bottom. I only have ESP32 on the top, so bottom should be empty. There's nothing. And then top should have the ESP32 at a position, Y and a rotation, and which side is it. So the manufacturer will use this information to know exactly where to place your, um, your components. That's why it's very important when you start your project, go place, go place drill, place orange valve, and always put it at the bottom left of your board. If you have a funny shape board like a circle, just put it as far left so you make sure that all the components are positive. So that's it guys, thanks for joining. Um, if you like this video and learn something, push like, sub, thumbs up, and subscribe. Um, so we just spoke about how to place the origin in the proper way. Now with Kika version 6, you can actually change the position where it used to be the top left side always, you could not get rid of it. So that's much easier to place your components exactly where you wanted. We spoke about the difference between origin and pick and place origin. You can use both similarly, but pick and place is mostly for manufacturing. Uh, so ne next time we're going to speak more about KiCad version 6. I'm going to try to release a video once a week about the new features and trying to build on that. Have a great week. Have a great weekend wherever in the world. Uh, until next video. Bye.